Welcome back to my channel Health Enthusiasts. Today, we're tackling a topic that's not just important, but could be life-saving. We're talking about colon cancer, a condition that's often overlooked until it's too late, but being aware of the symptoms can make all the difference. We'll be exploring these signs, those subtle hints your body might be giving you that shouldn't be ignored. So, get ready for a journey into understanding and awareness. Stay with us as we dive into this crucial topic. First off, what exactly is colon cancer? Well, let's dive right into it. Colon cancer, also known as colorectal cancer, is a type of cancer that begins in the large intestine, which is the final part of our digestive tract. It typically starts as small, benign clumps of cells known as polyps. Over time, these polyps can become colon cancers. It's important to remember that not all polyps become cancerous, but it's these growths that provide the starting point for colon cancer. When these cells grow and multiply abnormally, they form a tumor. As the tumor grows, it can invade and damage healthy tissues nearby. If cancer cells break away from the tumor, they can travel to other parts of the body, causing damage where they land. This is why regular screenings are so crucial. They can help identify these polyps before they turn into cancer. Now that we know what we're dealing with, let's look at the symptoms. Before we dive into the symptoms, let's discuss the risk factors and how colon cancer is diagnosed. Like many other health conditions, certain factors can increase your risk of developing colon cancer. Age is one of them. While this disease can affect people of all ages, it's more common among individuals who are 50 and older. Family history also plays a role. If you have a close relative who has had colon cancer, you may be at a higher risk. Your diet and lifestyle are significant too. A diet high in red and processed meats and low in fruits, vegetables, and whole grains can increase your risk. The same goes for a sedentary lifestyle, smoking, and heavy alcohol use. Now let's talk about diagnosis of colon cancer. If your doctor suspects you may have colon cancer, they'll likely start with a physical examination. This could be followed by blood tests to look for signs of cancer in your body. Imaging studies, like a CT scan or MRI, might also be used to get a clearer picture of what's going on inside your body. But the gold standard for diagnosing colon cancer is a procedure called a colonoscopy. During a colonoscopy, a long, flexible tube is inserted into the rectum to examine the entire colon. If any suspicious areas are found, a biopsy can be performed to collect tissue for further testing. It's recommended that individuals with an average risk of colon cancer start regular screenings at age 45. However, if you have a family history or other risk factors, you may need to start these screenings earlier. Understanding the risk factors and diagnostic process can help us be proactive in our healthcare. So, let's keep these in mind as we move forward to discuss more specific symptoms of colon cancer. One of the first symptoms to look out for is changes in bowel habits. Your body's regular rhythms is key to identifying any changes. So what kind of changes are we talking about? It could be anything from constipation or diarrhea that lasts for a couple of days to a noticeable alteration in the size, shape, or color of your stool. You might also experience a feeling of not being able to empty your bowel completely. Why do these changes occur? It's all about the colon function or job. As part of your digestive system, the colon plays a crucial role in processing waste material. When a cancerous growth or tumor develops in the colon, it can disrupt this process, leading to the changes in bowel habits we've just discussed. Now it's important to remember that these changes don't automatically mean you have colon cancer. They could be caused by a range of other factors such as diet, stress, or other gastrointestinal conditions, but they could also be a sign of something more serious. So if you notice any persistent changes, don't ignore them. It's always better to err on the side of caution and consult with a healthcare professional. They can help determine the cause of these changes and guide you on the next steps to take. So remember, any unusual changes in your bowel movements, take note. Moving on, let's discuss another symptom that can be associated with colon cancer, which is abdominal pain and cramps. This discomfort can sometimes be overlooked or dismissed as normal digestive upset, but persistent or recurring pain should not be ignored. But why does this happen? Well, a tumor growing in the colon can cause blockages or disturb the normal functioning of your digestive tract, leading to discomfort, pain, and cramping. This pain can be persistent, or it can come and go. It might be mild or it could be severe enough to disrupt your daily activities. Now, just like with changes in bowel habits, abdominal pain and cramps can be caused by a variety of factors, not just colon cancer. It could be something as simple as gas or as serious as an ulcer. But the key point to remember here is persistence. 
If you're experiencing persistent abdominal pain or cramps that don't seem to be linked to something you ate or a minor stomach upset, it's important to get it checked out. Again, early detection is crucial when it comes to treating and managing colon cancer. So, don't ignore persistent abdominal pain or cramps. Listen to your body and consult with a healthcare professional. It could be a sign of colon cancer. Moving on, we are going to discuss another symptom that might be associated with colon cancer, which is vomiting. Now, vomiting is a common symptom that can be associated with a multitude of health conditions, but it can also be a sign of colon cancer. This happens when a tumor in the colon grows large enough to cause a blockage. This blockage can interfere with the normal function of your digestive system, leading to nausea and ultimately vomiting. Moreover, vomiting can also be a reaction to other symptoms of colon cancer, such as severe abdominal pain. It's important to note that occasional vomiting can be normal, especially if it's linked to a known cause like food poisoning or a stomach virus. However, persistent vomiting, especially when accompanied by other symptoms we've discussed, is not normal and should be evaluated by a healthcare professional. If you or a loved one are experiencing persistent vomiting, especially if it's accompanied by other potential symptoms of colon cancer, don't ignore it. It's crucial to listen to your body's signals and seek medical help. Remember, early detection is key in the successful treatment and management of colon cancer. Let's now move on to discuss the next important symptom of colon cancer, bloating and gases. Now, everyone experiences bloating and gas from time to time, especially after a heavy meal or a change in diet. However, Persistent bloating and excessive gas can be a sign of colon cancer. This happens when a tumor in the colon grows large enough to close or block its lumen, leading to a buildup of gas and fluid in the abdomen, which results in bloating. Moreover, changes in bowel habits, which we've discussed previously, can also lead to an increase in gas production and bloating. It's important to note that while occasional bloating and gas are normal, persistent bloating and excessive gas are not. If you or a loved one are experiencing these symptoms, especially if they are accompanied by other potential symptoms of colon cancer, don't ignore them. It's crucial to seek medical help. Remember, early detection is key in the successful treatment and management of colon cancer. So if something doesn't feel right, don't hesitate to reach out to a healthcare professional. Don't ignore persistent bloating and gases. They could be signs of colon cancer. Moving on to another symptom that should not be ignored is blood in stool or rectal bleeding. This can present itself in various ways, from noticeable red streaks on the toilet paper to a darker, tarry consistency of the stool. It's crucial to understand that rectal bleeding is not a normal occurrence and is often an indicator that something is amiss within the digestive tract. The reason behind this symptom is often damage or irritation to the lining of the colon, which can be caused by a variety of factors. One of these is colon cancer. In the case of colon cancer, tumors may form in the large intestine, leading to bleeding. It's also worth noting that while rectal bleeding can be a sign of colon cancer, it can also be indicative of other conditions such as hemorrhoids or anal polyps. But here's the catch. The amount of blood does not necessarily correlate with the seriousness of the condition causing it. Even small amounts of bleeding can be a sign of a serious problem such as a cancerous growth. Thus, even if the bleeding seems minor, it's important to not dismiss it. It's essential to pay attention to your body and its signals. If you notice any blood, whether it's a single occurrence or a recurring issue, don't ignore it. It's always better to have caution and consult with your doctor. Early detection and intervention can make a significant difference in the treatment and management of colon cancer. Unexplained weight loss is another symptom that could indicate colon cancer. It's not about shedding a few pounds after a week of eating salads or following an exercise regime, but significant weight loss that occurs without any changes to your diet or physical activity level. You see, when you have colon cancer, the malignant growth in your colon can affect your body's ability to absorb nutrients from the food you eat. This can lead to weight loss even if you're eating as much as you usually do. In addition, cancer cells use up a substantial amount of your body's energy supply. They're like tiny, relentless power plants, consuming resources at a high rate. When these cells proliferate, they might use more of your body's energy than normal, leading to weight loss. Furthermore, certain substances released by cancer can also affect your metabolism, the process by which your body converts food into energy. This can cause you to burn calories more quickly than usual, resulting in weight loss. But remember, unexplained weight loss can be a symptom of many conditions, not just colon cancer. 
That's why it's so crucial to seek medical advice if you notice drastic changes in your weight without any apparent reason. Health is a journey, and every step you take towards understanding your body better is a step towards a healthier you. If you're losing weight without trying, it's time to check in with your doctor. Next symptom is fatigue. Fatigue, especially when it's persistent, could be a sign of colon cancer. It's more than just feeling slightly tired after a long day, it's the type of exhaustion that doesn't improve with rest. How does fatigue relate to colon cancer? When discussing fatigue in relation to colon cancer, it's frequently associated with anemia, a medical condition where your body doesn't have enough healthy red blood cells to provide sufficient iron to your tissues. If colon cancer is causing internal bleeding, which could be very subtle, it might go unnoticed. This can lead to iron deficiency anemia, which can in turn lead to overwhelming fatigue. But why does this happen? As the cancer cells in your colon continue to grow and multiply, they may cause constant small amounts of bleeding. Gradually, this loss of blood can drain your body's iron reserves, since iron is a vital component of red blood cells. When iron levels decrease, your body can't make enough red blood cells to effectively oxygenate your body, resulting in fatigue. It's crucial to recognize that fatigue alone doesn't automatically mean you have colon cancer. Many conditions from sleep disorders to depression can also cause fatigue. However, if you're experiencing constant fatigue in addition to other symptoms we've discussed, such as changes in bowel habits or unexplained weight loss, it is vital to consult a healthcare provider. Paying attention to this symptom is important. Your body has a way of signaling when something is off, and persistent fatigue could be one of its distress signals. Therefore, don't ignore constant tiredness, it could be your body signaling something is wrong. Awareness is the first step in the fight against colon cancer. This is a statement of fact, not a mere slogan. We've taken a journey together, exploring the critical signs and symptoms of colon cancer such as changes in bowel habits, blood in stool or rectal bleeding, unexplained weight loss, abdominal pain, vomiting, bloating and gases and fatigue. These are symptoms that should not be dismissed or ignored. Colon cancer is a silent enemy. It doesn't always announce its presence with a loud bang, Sometimes it's a simple change in your daily routine or a nagging feeling of tiredness that refuses to go away. It might be a few extra pounds lost without any effort or a sudden spot of blood that catches the eye. These seemingly small things could be your body's way of alerting you to a bigger issue, a battle that's beginning within. But remember, these symptoms are not a death sentence. They are signals, alarms designed to get your attention. They are your body's way of saying, hey, something's not quite right here, can we check it out? And that's exactly what you should do. Check it out. Seek out medical advice, get that screening, and make your health a priority. Because the sooner colon cancer is detected, the better the chances of a successful treatment. It's a fight, yes, but it's one that countless people are winning every day, and you can be one of them. So let's keep this conversation going. Let's keep learning, growing, and taking care of ourselves and each other. Let's keep spreading awareness and making a difference. Because when it comes to our health, every moment, every action, every choice matters. Let's continue to explore, to learn, and to grow together. Remember, your health is your wealth, and knowledge is power. So arm yourself with knowledge, take action, and make a difference in your life and the lives of those around you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more trendy health tips. Let's keep this vital conversation going, and together, we can make a world of difference.